how to raise your status instantly. What I'm talking about here is the box. When people meet you, they put you in a box in their mind as a successful person, as a not so successful person, as someone they want to get to know, as maybe someone they want to pass on. And yeah, may, maybe if I have time, I understand you guys are busy. You're going for success. You want to put your best foot forward. Today's video, five tips to boost your status. Tip number one to boost your status, come off as more attractive. Now, you can do this in multiple ways. So, first off, let's talk about style and clothing. You knew I was going to cover this, guys, but when you dress the part, when you look the part of the success, people do judge a book by its cover. Now, I'm going to link to a number of studies down in the description in the support article, but I will tell you guys, research again and again shows that people fall prey to their emotions, to their stereotypes, to basically being lazy and they walk into a room and they just want to make a split decision. When you look at a car, you don't go under and look at the engine to determine how fast it is. You look at the make, you look at the model, you use those shortcuts to make a determination of how fast. Now, another car over here, it may have been boosted, may have actually you know, a number of things done with the engine. It may blow that other car out of the water. but you're not going to know that because you're making a split second decision because, hey, you're going with what you have, which is what we see. We do that as human beings all the time. Now, clothing is a big part and it's something you can control, something I teach you here at Real Men Real Style, how to use so you can set your best foot forward. Now, let's say you can't do anything about your clothes. You're about to walk into a meeting. You're about to walk into an interview. Maybe you're going to give a presentation. Well, what can you do to come off as more attractive instantly? Smile. So, there was a 2013 study and they showed all these different pictures, oftentimes of the same person, but in one case, the person was smiling, in the other one, he was not. And what happened? Lo and behold, if the person was smiling on the pictures, he was always rated as more attractive. So, when you give a genuine smile, people can't help but feel better about you. When they feel better about you, they find you more attractive. So, we talked about clothing, so we talked about smiling, but what about items that you own? Maybe what about the car you drive, maybe the bag that you carry, maybe the watch that you're wearing? There is actually research on cars. They've actually looked at various vehicles, how people perceive what you drive and the status associated with it, how new the vehicle is. People make snap judgments, yes, on your car. Bags, leather bags, I couldn't find any information on that. And the same with watches, which I was surprised with. I thought that somebody would have done a great study on watches and perceived status. Now, when it comes to watches, I am going to say though that getting a nice watch is great. And if you're just starting off, let's say you got a limited budget, you want a watch that looks beautiful, guys, go check out Vincero. Vincero is the paid sponsor of today's video. I'm linking to him down in the description. A great company. For over two years, I've been supporting and bringing to you guys and just look at their watches. I'm going to link you to their website. Go check out those beautiful collections. Look at that Chrono collection. What do you guys think of that blue brown? Isn't that beautiful? I've got that watch and I love it. Now go check out the Kairos collection. Look at that rose gold. Is it don't don't you love that black face? I think that this looks amazing. Go check out the Bellwether collection. Look at that silver and white. Isn't that a great looking watch? I love that blue band. Now look at the blue and steel. Did you know that actually you can interchange these bands? Okay, so those last two watches in the Bellwether collection. I've got both of them and I'm sorry, I am not sending these out. I'm keeping these watches. They're beautiful. But I do have some other ones I would love to send your way. So, this is the way it works, gents, is there's a link down in the description. Go click on it and go check out. Look at the various styles. Be specific. Let me know in the comments how you're going to wear it, what you're going to wear it with, how you're going to walk into a room and own it. And guys, there's also a discount code down there in the description. So, if you want to give one of these as a gift, I can tell you your dad, maybe your brother, somebody in your family is just going to love this. Maybe you want to gift it to yourself. Use that discount code, guys. It's not going to be around forever. Use it or lose it. And again, Vincero is a great company. I've been working with them for a while. You guys know when you wear these watches, you're going to get compliments. Status booster number two, use power body language. We're talking about power poses. So, this goes back to a 2015 study in which they had two groups, they broke up. One group, they had to do power poses for five minutes, reciting their qualifications for an interview. The other group, about the same thing, except they had weak poses. So, the people actually doing the interviews did not know they had done these power poses or they didn't know which one they did and they rated them 
on are they qualified? Was this person confident? Uh, was this person attractive? What All these other things, they rated them. And the people that had the power poses were much more likely to be rated as attractive, as higher status, as someone that was wanted for the job, despite all of them having about the same qualifications. If you're about to go into a meeting, you're about to give a presentation, do not just simply get into that weak pose. Get out there. Maybe go around. There's also other studies in which actually children would perform better in school if they had exercise first thing in the morning. They were smarter, they were more attentive, and even the teacher thought they were more alert. Kind of makes sense, right? So maybe one thing that you could do if you're not going to start doing the power poses, start to exercise in the morning. All of this can boost your status very quickly. How to increase your status? Tip number three, display authority when you sit down. So, a lot of people when they sit down, they try to minimize the amount of space that they're taking and it's something that comes off as very weak. So, if you cross your hands, if you kind of bring everything in, if you don't want to disturb people, if you want to look smaller. Now, I'm not talking about going with the opposite here where you walk into a room and you take up all the space, maybe lay across three seats, view people and anyone else you meet as a, it's, it's a peer. As someone, you're at the same level of all these people. Yes, your boss, the CEO, they can fire you, but they called you into their office because they want to talk about that project and how we can get it going faster. Come off as a friend. Come off as someone that you, it's just, hey, you know, just me and you, let's talk. And when you do that, you show strength, you show a bit of authority, and you come off as stronger. Increasing your status tip number four, improve your eye contact. So, this depends on how many people you're engaging with. If you're talking with somebody one on one, about half of the time you want to be looking at them in the eyes. Understand that if you're not making eye contact with them, then it can come off as weak. Now, when you're talking in a group, not making about, you know, 20%, 20%, 20%, and then 40% of the time you're just kind of moving your eyes in and around. That's about on average what you want to see. If you over do this, which is actually difficult for a lot of people to do. That's about 60% for one individual. It can come off as aggressive, but that's still better than coming off as weak. So, weak is where you're not almost making any eye contact. You're basically just looking up and it not only comes off in most Western countries as disrespectful, it comes off as very weak. Now, I understand some of you guys come from countries in which maybe you don't make eye contact with people in a respectful position. So, this is something, it is very context driven. But understand if you're in a business environment and you're talking with someone or if it's a, you know, a deep, per, you know, having a personal meeting, but it's something that's important, make sure to make the right amount of eye contact. Otherwise, you're going to be perceived as weak. So, this next tip for increasing your status is one of my favorites. Become a great storyteller. So, if you can engage an audience, whether it be two people, whether it be one person, whether it be a hundred people with stories that are strong, that are emotional, that grab their attention, that take them, basically help make them feel what you're feeling when you're telling the story, you have a very powerful gift and this makes you more attractive, it makes you come off as more competent, it makes you come off as someone that they want to do business with. Yes, it may, storytellers make excellent, excellent salespeople because they understand that emotion that actually getting the person to remember you, that using something that's memorable to get to the point and to show this person, hey, I can solve your problem, I have a product that can help alleviate your pain, that's very, very powerful. A lot of people, they just view storytellers though as people that are amazing communicators. People And human beings have told stories for thousands of years. It used to be how we passed on history. So, if you are an amazing storyteller, you're someone that can captivate an audience and this is something, it's a learned skill. Instantly, you're going to take your status up to the next level. All right, gents, now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments what I missed, what you would have added to this list. And I know many of you guys are going to say, oh, all you need is a million dollars, just a lot of money, and yeah, your status is going to go up. But understand the status I'm talking about is more about how you can position yourself to be to send the message you want to. Because whether you run a nonprofit, you own a construction company, you've got a law firm, you've got a consulting company, you are just starting in the mailroom of a, of a really large bank. Whatever it may be, guys, I want to make sure that you can go in there and you can send that signal that, hey, I'm someone that you can trust to do business with you. I'm someone that you can trust to give me your business. I'm somebody that is going to be successful. That's it, guys. Oh, go check out Vincero. I'm linking to him down in the description. Like I said, I've got a few watches I would love to send your way, but I need to hear how you're going to wear it, 
exactly which watch you would like to receive. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.